All right, what's up, guys? Let's talk about why you shake into a deadlift lockout. Uh, Chris Robinson, this is for you. So this is a real common thing. You really, really see it with guys who have a really hard interior pelvic tilt or fat dudes. You know who you are because the belly sags down, the pelvis tilts up. And that's not a death sentence. It's not even a bad thing, per se. But what happens is you inhibit the glutes from coming through in the lockout portion. So what we're going to do is learn to differentiate between thoracic extension and lumbar extension. I got a band here. You guys know I love tactile cueing. So what often is the case, I'm going to actually come on the uneven floor, whether it's sumo conventional doesn't matter, but people will start trying to get that vertical shin, and so they tilt the pelvis of this one to make that shin vertical, right? And then they compensate, then they do thoracic extension, they have a really hard lumbar extension, and when they come up, there's nowhere for them to go from here, so they really struggle to pull through. You can scream hips, 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 until the cows come home, it ain't going to change it. How do we fix? We're going to take the band here because it's a lower load, and this is just motor patterning. This is not an exercise as much as it is a drill to understand the difference between thoracic extension and lumbar extension. So I have my sumo position here, and the caveat is vertical shin. Everyone's trying to achieve that, and that's ideal, but not necessarily necessary, right? Because if I go vertical shin, I have really long tibias, what's gonna happen is I now push my hips away from the bar. So to compensate to get my chest up, there's my lumbar extension, there's the anterior tilt. So if my shins are a little bit forward, that's okay, because all I'm looking for is this so I can push through and come through an even position, right? If I go vertical shin and I back this way, here's this, I'm not even now. Now I'm in front of the bar, in order for me to get back, I have to really, really drive back hard. Whereas this way, if I pull into my body with the band, and I stack the pelvis, go, I don't wanna say neutral because that's a zone, but if I stack the pelvis together, I'm pushing through the quads and glutes at the same time. What's known as lumbar paradox, where you get hip extension and knee extension at the same time, even though they're contracting, contracting, <laughs> even though they're contrasting muscle groups, Hamstrings contribute to hip extension in the bar articulation joint, and the quadriceps extend the knee at the same time, right? You can't flex and extend the knee at the same time, but you can extend the hips at the knee at the same time. So we're establishing that position of thoracic extension and then driving through. And even if you're conventional, like, you know, it's the same thing. Thoracic extension versus the lumbar extension. So lumbar extension, the pelvis went back. Thoracic extension, the chest came up, and I'm pushing through even locking the hips out. Whereas if I went to the lumbar extension and got that vertical shin position, Look where I am, right? Can't finish from there. Whereas here, I stacked the pelvis. My shin went a little bit farther forward. That's okay. It's even. So we take that drill that we practice. Maybe you practice in between your warm up reps and come through. Come to my bar for a post adductor tear PR. I'm gonna come down. And when I gather my tension, I'm gonna find that neutral position, right? So I'm not gonna go lumbar extension. I'm not gonna focus on a hard back extension. I'm gonna find that kind of stacked pelvis position. And I finish even. Versus if I went to lumbar extension to get their vertical shin, I'm now in front of the bar. Like how far back I have to pull to get that. You're not going to win that battle with a max effort. 